What's up everybody, it's Jackson and I'm back with another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you some cards that I got this week, uh, this morning at a local card shop and also earlier in the week at a local flea market where I have shown you guys uh, stuff from before. Uh, so it's just kind of going to be, I got some nice uh, Bowman firsts, a couple rookie cards, um, and also some nice uh, Wander Francos, so stay tuned to see those Wander Francos. Um, I'm going to do those two last, so uh, without further ado, we will do the ones that I got from the flea market first. So here is a prospect for the Phillies, his name is Jalen Ortiz, I believe he's the number 13 prospect, so that one was nice. I got these all, all of these cards for uh, $60. It was a $90 value and I got them all for $60. So that was a decent deal. I don't normally spend that much for um, like individual cards, but I couldn't really pass up the opportunity that I had. Uh. So anyways, there is the uh, uh, Mickey Moniac, Bobby Witt Jr. That one's nice. That is a 2021 Bowman, just the base card. Uh, here's a Bobby Witt from 2020. That one's really nice that I got. He is in the big leagues now. Uh, doing okay from what I've heard. Um, it's been nice to see him uh, play a couple games, get some at-bats, and get some hits. Anyways, here's another top prospect, uh, Adley Ruch Ruchesman. I believe I'm saying that right. He is a catcher for the Orioles. I believe he is the number three prospect right now on the on the top 100 prospects. Uh, Mr. Shohei Otani, this is a nice one from last year. Uh, it is just a tops. I believe that might be it might be heritage that shows his uh, Japanese stats. That's pretty cool. Yes, it is it is uh, the tops heritage from last year. Spencer Torkelson, um, he's up with the Tigers top prospect from a year or two ago. Uh, I think he has a couple hits so far. He's doing well. Here's a guy. I was happy to get some of his cards. Uh, Hunter Green. Um, he is, I think he's, he just set some sort of average, or uh, record, sorry, for uh, like fastballs 100, uh, over 100 miles an hour. So I had to get, I had to get three of his cards. This one's really nice. Nice uh, Bowman Chrome card. And then of course the Rated Prospect card and just the base there. And then Bobby Dahlback. Uh, with the Red Sox. This one is from 2021. The MLB debut. debut. A Casey Mize Diamond Kings card. Uh, Blaze Jordan. This is just the base. The base uh, Bowman as well. Uh, nothing special, but I've, I've heard good things about Blaze Jordan, so I had to jump on that one. Um, Tarek Skubal. I believe I'm saying that right. And then Nick Madrigal and uh, Akil Badu. I've been looking for Akil Badu's cards and uh, haven't been able to find one. So anyways, that's that's the first batch from the flea market. And then today uh, we got we got a really nice one here to start this from the store today. A Mike Trout. This is a 2021 Prism. I don't think it's stained glass. I've seen some like this. It, I, I could be wrong, but no, it's really nice. I, I, that's a really nice card. Uh, Bryce Harper. These are really cool. Uh, tops black and gold. I believe I also got. Here's another Mickey Moniac, uh, the Bowman's best card. Here's another black and gold card. Shohei Otani. That guy. I just watched him. He had. I think he had 12 strikeouts the other night. That guy is one of my favorite players, and he just continues to. Uh, hit and throw strikes. He's fun to watch. Uh, Shohei Otani All-Star Game 2. Here was one I was surprised about. Uh, Cody Bellinger, Topps Chrome. This is from 2017. I think I don't think he was in the big leagues yet. It's just a kind of a base card, but still nice. Uh, here's another guy, Key Brian Hayes. I only have one other Key Brian Hayes card, so I had to jump on this one. I think this was a dollar. Um, that's from 2016, so that one might be one of his first. It's not his first Bowman, but just a prospect card. That one was nice. And then Royce Lewis, um, I think he was a top prospect. I think he's still in like the top 20, maybe top 20 prospects in the league. I haven't really heard his name much, 
but I think he's still I think he's still out there. It says he's the number 21 prospect overall last year, so I'm not exactly sure what's up with him. But that was a nice uh, tops tops Bowman Chrome. Um, sorry, not Bo not tops, but Bowman Chrome, the blue background. That one's really cool. Uh, Shane Baz, I've gotten some more. Uh, you guys might remember I got I believe one of his rookies back in uh, the Heritage video. Uh, go ahead and check that out if you want. That was, I believe, a week or two ago. So just, yeah. Anyways, here's another one of him, Shane Baz. Here's another guy, Brennan McKay. Haven't heard a whole lot about him, though. Oh, Wander fell down. But he's another guy who... Uh, another rookie card that was really nice. That one's from 2020. Here's one that I like. Logan Gilbert. This is from last year as well. None of these are 22, unfortunately. This is 2021, and that's the case that has the dirt, so it's not it's not the card. Logan Gilbert, it's a nice Topps Chrome card. A Josh Jung, here's another guy. He is a prospect for the Rangers. He's a shortstop. I have one other one of him, but that's a nice one that I that I got. I think that was only a dollar. Uh, Kaven Biggio, his first Bowman card. That was I think only two bucks. I don't know. I mean, this, it was a box of, like, dollar cards, a whole bunch of top, or fir first Bowman. I could have got a whole bunch more. I'll have to go back and get some more. Here's one, C.J. Abrams. That's a Bowman card. That one is from 2020. So he, uh, I believe he's up in the big leagues now. Now, forgive me if I butcher this guy's name. Uh, Jordan Belazovic, I want to say. Bel I don't know if that's how you say his name or not. But I've heard some things about him from the uh, Twins. I have another one of these. Heliot, Heliot Ramos, I have another top uh, Bowman Scouts top 100 card. And then a Jazz Chisholm Jr. Chisholm, 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 or whatever, however you say it. This one is from 2020. Uh, a Bowman, yeah, the Bowman, just the base card. So he's, he's a Marlin. I'm not a huge fan of him, but... Still a nice card. And then, of course, Nick Castellanos from the Phillies. Uh, this is back in 2013, a throwback there. Nick Castellanos is hitting some home runs for us this year. I'm happy about that. It was a good signing, in my opinion. But no, that was, that was a nice one. I couldn't pass that one up. He's going to be in Philly for five years. So anyways, also for uh, the big finish, we have uh, the top-rated prospect in the league right now. Is off to a slow start, slower start than most people would have hoped, but still pretty cool to find any of his cards. So here are my two Wander Francos. I believe these were eight dollars a piece. Um, this is a mythical card, optic Don Donruss optic mythical card. It's uh, from 2020. I wish it was numbered or something, but it, it's still a nice card. Still a nice card to have. Uh, here's another Wander. Um, Rookie card now on deck, Panini Prism. Uh, this one is also from 2020, and it was, yeah, that's just kind of the back of it, and it's really nice. This was also $8. Um, sorry. So, yeah, I only had two Wanders from the, uh, obviously, the Heritage one that I got at Roots, the flea market, a couple weeks ago. And then the one that I pulled um, out of a Donruss box earlier last year. I think I did show you guys the Wander Donruss from last year. But anyways, just wanted to share those with you. Uh, like I've said before, hopefully we'll have some more cards coming out. Um, might do some Donruss. I believe the release date for Donruss is April 29th. So just just over about a week away. I think it, I think it's actually next. It might be next Thursday, so I will definitely be looking into that. I'll probably get a whole bunch of that. Maybe some blaster boxes, maybe some fat packs. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I know Donruss always has some nice some nice cards in it, so stay tuned for that. Um, as always, hit that like button and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe for future videos. Um, and also comment what your favorite card was. Leave a comment down there. I'd love to see what your guys' opinions are are on my cards and uh, yeah just tell me who who your favorite was so anyways like i said stay tuned for future videos and i will see you guys later